Thomas with Mr. Thomas. Mojabi did me no gabinzin. Sto. Chapter 11, lesson number 8, finding the point of intersection between a line and a plane. Now, in order to find out the point of intersection between a line and a plane, it's far easier if the equation of the line is expressed in parametric form. So let's jump into this example. So example 1, find the point of intersection of the line, x take away 3 over 4, which equals y take away 2 over negative 1, which equals z plus 1 over 2, and the plane with the equation 2x plus y take away z equals 4. As it says up here, the way we find that point of intersection is by expressing the equation of the line in parametric form. So we know then the equation of the line, that is what we are given in the question. If you think back to the different forms that you get, well, you've got vector forms where you're writing it out really with your components. You get symmetric form, which is what this is. And we're wanting to go from our symmetric form to parametric form. When it's in symmetric form, just remember this x take away x1 over a equals y take y1 over b equals z take z1 over c equals some parameter. So we need to say then that these three equations equal some parameter. So we're going to let them equal, for example, t. What we then do to get to our parametric form, what we can do is we can just rewrite each fraction. So the x take away 3 over 4, imagine if that equals t if you didn't add these parts. Well, you can rewrite that as x equals. So just taking the x take away 3 over 4 equals t, multiply both sides by 4. So x take away 3 equals 4t, and then add 3 to both sides. So you can say x would equal 4t plus 3. Do the same thing with the y. You would have y take away 2 over negative 1 equals t. If you multiply both sides by negative 1, you'd have y take away 2 equals negative t. And then if you add 2 to both sides, it would give you y equals negative t plus 2. So that's just rewriting these fractions in terms of x, y, and z. Finally, take z plus 1 over 2 equals t. Multiply both sides by 2. So z add 1 equals 2t. And then subtract 1 from both sides. So z would equal 2t take away 1. So we've now written the equation of the line in parametric form. Thank you very much. Where do we go next? Well, we know that the equation of the plane is 2x add y take away z equals 4. But we have just worked out that x equals 4t add 3, y equals negative t add 2, and z equals 2t take away 1. So really here with our x with our y and with our z, we could sub these values in, replace x with 4t add 3, replace y with negative t add 2, and replace z with 2t take away 1. Let's do that. So the line intersects when, well, this 2x plus y take away z equals 4, but you're subbing the values in. So remember, x was equal to 4t add 3, y was equal to negative t add 2, and z was equal to 2t take away 1. Get rid of the brackets there, that will give us 8t plus 6 take away t plus 2 take away 2t plus 1, that equals 4. What do you think we do from there? Find out t. Good, so we find out t, so we can say then if we gather t on the left hand side, 5t plus 9 equals 4, subtract 5 from both sides, 5t equals negative 5, so t would equal negative 1. Perfect. Once you know that t equals negative 1, how would you find out those coordinates of x, y, and z? How would you find that point of intersection? Brilliant. If you know the value of t, well, just going back to the last slide for a second, we know that x equals 4t add 3, but we've just found the value of t. We know y equals negative t add 3. Again, we've just found the value of t. And z equals 2t take away 1. And we know the value of t. So we can use some substitution here, replacing the value of t in our equations on the last page in parametric form for x, y, and z. That's what x was equal to, that's what y was equal to, and that's what z was equal to. But because we know t, we can sub it in. Perfect. So we'd have 4 times negative 1 plus 3, that will give us negative 1. y would equal negative t, so negative negative 1 plus 2, which would equal 3, and z would equal 2 times negative 1, take away 1, which would work out to be negative 3. So we've just found out the values of x, y, and z, and those values really will be the x, the y, and the z coordinates of 
that point of intersection. So we can say then the point of intersection is negative 1, 3 and negative 3. Woo! Good luck with some of these questions. Try to find the point of intersection between the line and the plane just using the same method that we did there. Put the equation of the line in parametric form and follow the rest of the example. Best of luck. Have fun. Bye.